these people go into other world like rubia see going into the other world is a world of fantasy a world where they are creating something of their own fantasy air castle doing something that is a big project but it is all at a thought level and they keep on building 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 this fantasy and at a certain point of time they get exhausted and at exhaustion they become completely weak exhausted this is the vicious cycle for the rubiaceae for the hemimelidae type they get into a world that is free and floating because this world compresses them this world suppresses them this world there is tremendous amount of pressure and that pressure is from above downwards like a pressure cooker pressure like a soda water bottle pressure and this pressure this compression makes them feel stuck at one place and therefore they are into this other world which is a world of completely being free a world that is not stuck a world that is floating a world where they can have their own movement and own way of dealing with it therefore the world for hamamelidae the other world for hamamelidae is a world of being free light and floating because this world is heavy for them similarly for papaverese this world is something that is painful this world something that is completely dangerous this world that is filled with war filled with hatred filled with fights filled with abuses and the other world that they look for is a world that is heavenly a world where everything is good a world that is peaceful a world that is tranquil a world that is calm and a serene world painless world world that is filled with no pains this is the other world that they transform into so in drugs they always look for something that is making them cut off from this particular world and therefore these are called as drug group of remedies and drug group of remedies are the ones that actually enhance the neurotransmitter junction they stimulate the neurotransmitter junction and when they stimulate they allow a lot of information to go through through the neurotransmitter junction which causes a type of excitement and in hemorrhage what happens is it affects the higher centers of brain that is the consciousness behavior and intellect and therefore when the consciousness behavior and intellect is affected the lower center that is disoriented time place and space happens and therefore if you see the hemorrhage group cannabis for example there is disorientation of time disorientation of the way they move this orientation about space things seems too large one step seems a giant step time passes too slowly all this is because of the lower centers that is affected that is tps time place and space that is disoriented but in papaverese what happens is that there is this big time understanding of the morphine and apomorphine which are the alkaloids and what they do is they simply they simply block the neurotransmitter junction so therefore there is no information that is going and therefore you become completely cut off from all the sensory world a world that is painful a world filled with suffering a world filled where small small things trifle things also hurt you immensely it is simply like mutilation cutting war pain intense pain and intense suffering and because of this morphine which cuts the neurotransmitter junction it allows you to go into that world which is calm serene tranquil 
and a heavenly type of world where there is no pain, no suffering and makes you feel numb, anesthetic, cut off. What you are cut off from? You are cut off from this painful world. That is the story for the Papaverese type of remedy. And the comparison that you can see because Rubiaceae contains something called as caffeine and caffeine again is a stimulant. So they are stimulant type of remedies. So therefore drug remedies are some things which are allowing the neurotransmitter junctions to be wide open. Same thing happens with the labiate for that matter where you have this understanding that labiate people there is again the nerve stimulation and because of the nerve stimulation you are exhilarated, thrilled, over passionate and you can become completely crazy. You lose your senses to such an extent that you are overjoyed. You just don't know what you are doing. It is a maddening joy. And therefore, opposite of that is something that is monotonous, boredom. Oh, life is without any juice. Let's do something. Let's, let's have a party. Let's do something. Let's do this. Let's do that. Because that keeps them excited. Similarly, with the Piprasia for that matter, where you have this idea that it is excitement, that is thrill with pain and pleasure. You are getting the pleasure, but yet there is also a pain associated with it. Like black pepper. When you eat that, you get the taste of it, mouth-watering taste of it. But along with that, what you experience is the burning pain also associated with it. It is like simply going on a merry-go-round. You sit in the merry-go-round. It's a beautiful thing. It's something that gives you pleasure. But when you're at the top of the merry-go-round, you are shit-scared. There is a pain as well as pleasure associated with it. This is a classical example where you go into any water park for that matter. Every ride that is there has got all the pleasure but along with that package comes the suffering. Comes there is some sort of pain. That's why you are on that particular ride and you <laughs> There is suffering. There is pain. Along with that, there is a pleasure. Opposite to that, everything is bland. When there is no salt and pepper in the food, how does the food become? It becomes bland. It becomes completely monotonous, bland, tasteless. So they will talk about this world is a tasteless world. And I want to go into the world that is completely filled with taste. And the taste is pain and pleasure. Chatpata, Pani Puri, this is the type of taste that they would prefer. This is what we see in every more or less what I see in every plant family. They all have this other world. The other world that is exactly opposite to the world they are seeing here according to their own sensitivity. This was what I wanted to convey today in idea of how plants look at the world within their own area, within their own zone and the world that they dream of, which is completely opposite to what they are actually sensitive about in this world. Right?